Hanging 10? Surf's up, dude. No, it's not the weekend. This is someone's nine to five. Our next stop takes us to Ventura, California. This is Patagonia, the ultimate workplace for athletes. Because when you work here, you can work out wherever and whenever you want. Half people come through, just got done running like four miles. By this afternoon, this place will be getting to be a ghost town. Everybody likes to go and have fun. It all began with one man and his love of outdoor sports. Our founder, Yvonne Chouinard, started the company 35 years ago by producing rock climbing equipment. From there, the company's never stopped. Now we make sports equipment for climbing and for surfing and for trail running and for skiing and, and the like. Today, Patagonia is a $275 million a year outdoor sports retail empire. And its employees are as action ready as the products they make. Because they don't just make the stuff, they test any of the 600 products out, too. I'm about to go for a run. I design the running clothes, so I like to go test out the stuff that I design. It's pretty much my dream job. And while the typical office worker wastes 13% of their life stuck behind a desk, at Patagonia, work is one big sporting event. Okay, that's it. And you better believe that a company this into sports gives their employees plenty of activity options. From free lunchtime yoga classes to a collection of bikes ready to ride, these employees have no excuse not to be active. These are our cruiser bikes. These are always available to us for getting out, usually going down to check the surf. People love to get out and play together. When the snow's good, we can go skiing or snowboarding. I have a couple wetsuits, some swimsuits, a surfboard leash. My skis are here. If I'm not running, then I'm trying to go climbing. And the reason Patagonia's 350 sporty employees can get all that fresh air? A little perk called flex time. Which means, as long as the work gets done, these lucky Patagonians can escape from the office as much as they want, whenever they want. Whatever it is that your people want to do, just let them go do it. We also have the flexibility to peel out, to get out into the mountains. Work hard, play hard is definitely the mantra around here. You better believe that Patagonians use their flex time to the max. Because Patagonia is close to over 20 sporting options, including a mere 20 minutes to outdoor rock climbing and only a couple of hours from primo ski spots. And it's no coincidence that Patagonia is only one block from the ocean. Because in this workplace, surfing is king. The absolute coolest thing is being able to just drop everything if the waves are good and go straight down the road and get in the water and be back in time for lunch. And at Patagonia, the happy receptionist doesn't just answer the phones. Patagonia, hola, Patagonia. He gives the surf report. One of my jobs here is to make sure everybody knows the surf report. I'm supposed to put it up on the board, and it's a very important, integral part of what we're going to do today. So the first thing we do every day is come in and check our surf report. If it's good on Tuesday at, at 3 o'clock, and that's during work hours, then you can surf. That's one of the best parts of working here. But if you don't have a surfboard, don't worry, because Patagonia's supply closet isn't filled with paper clips or staplers. It's got over 30 loaner boards for their employees. I love to just go out with a bunch of my coworkers and try to catch waves. It's like a big group effort. When I was here in the um, 70s, they used to bribe us by saying, we'll pay you 10% more of your wage if you can stay and work. Because what would happen is the waves would go up and all the guys, they were gone. And it was accepted. And to show you just how serious these employees are about surfing on the job, meet Jess, HR generalist and killer surfer. She's going to show us how easy it is for a Patagonian to hit the waves. So I'm going to grab my board, go surf for half an hour, and then come back in time for my meeting. A few wipeouts and one successful ride. Jess calls it a day and heads back to the office. 
We have showers at work. They'll just run in my towel and shower off before I get dressed. Just in time to catch that 3 o'clock meeting. I think it's one of the most unique places that anyone could ever work. Yep, it's just another day in the life at Patagonia. The ultimate outdoorsman's workplace. This is Extreme Workplaces.